Hello YouTube, The Blind Wizard here, and I am now back with episode 3 of Undead Murder Farce. No note from Joey this time, because I'm following right after episode 2. Right after episode 2. <clears throat> I don't want to do that accent again. <clears throat> Last time, we were in the middle of a murder and solving the case of a dead mistress of a household and figuring out how she could have been murdered in a house where, um, um, well, we're, we're trying to figure that out. And the episode kind of ended right before stuff could get revealed, and I'm guessing the next episode is going to be where we wrap up this mystery. And it's probably going to become the formula for the rest of this series, the two-episode formula for a mystery. And I think eventually we'll also get the main plot mystery of getting around to finding Suguru's the guy that turned him into a half-oni, who's also the same guy that took Aya's body. So we'll, I'm, I'm sure we'll probably get around to all that eventually, but let's wrap up this mystery first. I will see you in the post-episode discussion. And abracadabra. Bruh. Okay, post-episode discussion time. I was not expecting that we would still be nowhere closer to done with this mystery. I was not expecting this to take longer than two episodes. But here we are. We're going into the next episode with the conclusion to this murder case. And what new information did we learn about this in this episode? Um, we gained a new suspect. Because... The eldest son was very defensive about the detective snooping around. Like, he threatened Suguru and Aya with physical force. Even though Aya could tell he didn't, he wasn't the murderer because of his hands. Um, they went into the forest for going after the previous, the, the vampire hunter that attacked them. And um, we got some more information about that which might be relevant for Suguru and Aya going forward after this case. But other than that, and me still doubting if the cliche is going to come true or not, I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know who did it. See, my hypothesis on this murder case is... Originally, I was thinking, oh, it, there's no way the butler did it. That's too cliche. But the evidence started coming in, and I'm like, but it actually could be him. But then more information and the way they were acting. And when you're watching mystery, you have to pay attention to mannerisms. You have to pay attention to how people act. And the maid looked a little nervous like she was a part of the plot. It didn't matter if she was not directly the killer. If she's an accomplice, then that means she's hiding something. Hmm. But at the end of the day, what do I know? I'm just a blind wizard. I've never been that good with deductive reasoning. Joey's better at that than me. I am just a coot. A magical coot that is watching blind reactions. But we'll see how this goes. We'll catch you all in the next one. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe. Share the video with a friend. Join my Patreon. That would be nice. Oh, I also read another note that Joey reminded me to, to let you all know. I added a new tier to the Patreon. Well, Joey told me to add it. It's the $10 tier. I know. He originally wasn't going to have a $10 tier. But he added it for his old Transformers project. That is a very, very ambitious stop motion project. And even I looked at it and I'm like, that is very ambitious. And of course, he's thinking long term. He's thinking well into the future. He's thinking when he has that kind of time and the right setup, and everything. And maybe he could get more people on board with it. But if anybody wants to support 
the setup for such a massive project. That is a very ambitious project. You support that tier. Not only will you get the perks of being a Patreon member and like, everything that the $5 tier has, but you get exclusive access to a chat I've set up for Transformers Codename Multiprime. Still need to work on that name. It's a work in progress. It's, it's, it's a thing. Or the chat might be open to everybody now. I don't remember, but... I've been reminded to let you all know that a new Patreon tier is there for anybody who wants to support that project. Okay, and you will get, like, not only will you have the, the benefit of helping the creative process of the project, you will get an Easter egg, you get to voice a character if you want, you get to request a character, a storyline, or any other Easter egg that you want. I will make sure it gets into the series in some capacity. But aside from that, we can now wrap this up. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Alakazam!